6.2. Understand and construct geometrical proofs using formal arguments. Angle facts must always be accompanied by a reason. So anytime you, you, you use a fact, you have to say why. Okay, this is uh, the second video in my geometry section to the ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSE. We've got an index button here that will take you back to the index for geometry, and then you can use the index button on that to take you back to the index of indexes. Or wait till the end of the video, there's an index uh, button there to take you back to the, the main index. Um, any questions on further maths that I've got on these? Also, I think I've got some higher level um, AA style questions on geometrical proofs that might be useful. I'll put a link into that down here. Okay, um, and there's three, I think there's two questions I'm going to go through. This one and this one. So you might want to have a go at those before. I go through them to see if you can figure out what's going on. Okay, now this question, um, we're given some uh, three circles, three quadrilaterals drawn in a circle, and one big triangle that's just joined up. And we're told that they're cyclic quadrilaterals because they're in a circle and they're, they're four sided shapes. We're told ABG is a straight line, ADE is a straight line, so we've got to figure out this is a straight line. Now, um, there's a couple of ways we can do that. Um, the cyclic quadrilateral thing makes me want to use the formula for cyclic quadrilateral, not the formula, the, the rule for cyclic quadrilaterals, which is the opposite angles add up to 180. Proving this is a straight line, to do that, um, I think what I would do is I would try to prove that this and plus this is 180 degrees. And if I do that, then that makes it a straight line. When you're trying to do this sort of question with, with uh, formal proofs, it's probably best just to try and solve the question on the diagram or, or however you can um, using calculations and then redo it um, thinking about labelling the angles and saying what rules you're using. Um, when I first looked at this question, I was, I was tempted to call um, this angle X and this angle Y and try to do something with that. But after uh, a few seconds playing around with that it didn't seem like a good idea. It seemed much better to be using these um, these angles here, um, knowing that this is going to be um, this angle here is going to be a uh, psychic quadrilateral rule. Okay, so so thinking about that, if I call this angle here x. But I know this angle here is 180 minus x because it's a straight line. And that tells me using a cyclic quadrilateral rule that this angle over here must be x because these two must add to 180. And to make that 180 you must add on x because I've taken x away. Um, if this is x then this angle over here is 180 minus x. Um, if that's 180 minus x then this angle in here is x. If that's x again cyclic quadrilateral rule like we did here, it's going to make this 180 minus x. And then these two should add up to 180, which proves it's a straight line. And because we know this is a straight line, then all this is true. Okay, so we're just going to need to write that down formally. So if we start with, um, say, angle A, B, C equals x, then I'm not going to use the word angle each time, so let's use this symbol to mean angle. Angle um, CBG equals 180 minus x. Also, as ABCD is cyclic quad tells us that angle ADC equals 180 minus x. So angle C angle C D E equals 180 uh, equals x. As we we need to really, should have really put in there as a, B, G equals straight line as um, A, D, E equals straight line. I'm not going to write it out again. 
obviously you would on a test. Okay, once we've got that, then we need to just do do these two. So um, as d c f e equals cyclic quad. That tells us that then angle e f c equals 180 minus x. Um, really should have put in this. Uh, should have done this one while we're at the top there. But anyway, we can do that now as b c f g equals cyclic quadrilateral then angle c f g equals x therefore e f g equals straight line as angles e f c plus angle CFG equals 180 degrees. Okay, I've, I've shortened it about because I've got to fill it in here. It's difficult to fill it in here, but if I feel it's writing this all out, to write out the proper words for this in each one. Um, I probably should have said, as is a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are equal in a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, but that's the idea. You've got to s s formalize it, say everything you're doing one step at a time. Try to work it out in the diagram first and then go through and uh, say it in words. Okay, second question. Okay, so we've got a psychic quadrilateral, um, we've got a tangent. So it's, again, uh, like I did earlier, or like I did on, on, on 6.1, if you've got a, uh, a tangent to a circle or to a chord, then you should be looking to this angle here is the same as the angle formed by that chord over here, so that's x. Similarly, this angle here, y, is the one formed by this chord here, so that's also y. So that's the alternate segment theorem does that, so we'll, we'll say that in a minute. Um, from there, we can work out that this is going to be 180 minus x minus y. And then these two, because the cyclic quadrilateral are up to 180, and then we can uh, finish up by proving that. Okay, so we just need to write that down in words. Um, but yeah, to know what to do there, the cyclic quadrilateral thing is giving you a clue that you've got to work out this angle here because these are opposites. Um, this top angle here, we can't do anything about that, but um, the alternate segment theorem allows us to work out these x's and y's, and therefore that's the way to go. Um, not easy to spot that, but uh, the more times you do these sort of things, the better you'll get at them. So we started by working out that the angle angle um, PSQ equals X by the alternate segment theorem, and also angle YPS equals Y by the alternate segment theorem. And then we can do uh, angle QPS equals 180 minus X minus Y. So that's angles on the straight line. Add to 180. Um, when you're doing alternative, when you're doing explaining rules, um, the alternate segment theorem is probably the only one you can quote by its name. The rest you have to just say what they do. So the angles on the line out to 180, opposite angles in a psychic quadrilateral out to 180, that sort of thing. So now we can use the, the psychic quadrilateral rule. So PQRS is cyclic quadrilateral, which tells us that 2x plus 180 minus x, 180 minus x minus y equals 180. So those two ang opposite angles equal 180. So we can take away 180 from both sides. We can add the x and y. Well, we can do 2x minus x is x. So x minus y equals 0. So x equals y or y equals x. Therefore, 
proven. So there we go. So that's how we set those out. Um, try to work it out first and then try to spell out all the rules we've used.